Hello everyone, my name is Mr. Njozi and welcome to my channel. In this video, we're going to be talking about compact screens and how you can get multiple Lua screens into one by one screen here in Stormworks. But before we get started, if you are enjoying these videos, don't forget that like and subscribe button and remember the little bell icon to be notified my upcoming content as soon as it gets posted. And while you're watching, let me know your thoughts in the comments below and what else you'd like to see in my future videos. So that all said, let's get straight into it and get started with this video. So to get started, the idea of compact screens or the idea of projecting screens here in Stormworks is nothing new in terms of the community. However, it's been around for a little bit, but it hasn't been that popular and hasn't made its way to a lot of creations. Now, most recently, Thales released one of his planes, which really highlighted it and a lot of the community have been very interested in this and it seems to be picking up quite a lot. So I thought we'll cover it in the tutorial and I'll show you exactly how you can actually replicate it in your own creation with your own gauges that you want. So the idea of it is to get nine screens being any size you want into a smaller screen and being at much more high resolution and much more compact. So you can see here just in front of me, we have nine of the one by one screens and it takes up obviously three by three blocks. So it takes up nine blocks within your creation. Now the idea is to get all of that into just one of these small little one by one screens and it is possible. Now a recommendation here is when you are doing this is that you are going to be losing the functionality of the actual touch screen when you do this. So the recommendation here is usually do it for something that you only want to use to display. So for example, like a throttle, or you want to display your speed or your altitude or vertical speed or camera, etc. Something that you're only displaying, nothing that you're actually going to be controlling with the touchscreen itself. Now it's relatively simple to actually set up. Once you've decided how you want your screens and what data you want on them, all you have to do is actually go into your creation go and decide where you want your new one by one screen. So I'm just gonna go and put it over here. Make sure you obviously get it connected up. You have an on button, to turn it on. You obviously have some electric going through it. And then all you have to do is go and find a camera. Now you could use just the standard camera or you can use the one where you can zoom in. So the camera medium, you could use either one of these. It's completely up to you. And what you need to do then is just go back a few blocks from your actual screens here go and then all you have to do is point the camera to it just like so so make sure you leave at least two blocks here if you're using the camera medium you don't have to do this because you can obviously increase and decrease the field of view but if you're using the regular small camera just two blocks distance once you've got your two blocks distance make sure you obviously have your electric go and connect your video up to your new monitor here and then all you have to do is go and turn it on so you'll now see that obviously we have our actual camera here facing these nine screens and we go to our one by one screen and you can now see it's gone and showing all those screens within your one by one. It's nice and high res. Just make sure you go to your settings here and you go down to where you have your monitor quality and set it to high. It needs to be high. Otherwise, it's not going to look good. But you can see there, we can now see our throttle, we can see our altitude, our VSI, we can see our two different cameras, we can see our weather. It looks really quite nice. And obviously you can continue playing with this and adding different types of screens. You could add as many of these as you want. So we could go and have, let's say three of these. That now allows us to go and have, what, 9, 18, 20, what, 27 different screens on our creation. Uh, showing up all just within three little one by one screens. So you can see we can kind of replicate this process. I'm actually just going to connect it up to the same camera here, make sure it's got some electricity and make sure it's actually turning on. And you'll then see that we now have so many little different gauges in our creation and it looks much better than obviously what we have at the moment here in Stormworks. So this is quite nice. As I said, you don't have to use the small camera. You could use the medium sized one. So if I was to do this and get the camera medium and we were to place it down like so to leave the extra blocks that we don't need. Once you have that, you can obviously then go and control the field of view. So we just get like a keypad, for example, and we're gonna control the field of view on that. And let's go and give it some electricity, of course, and then let's connect the video up to it. So now when we go and spawn that in, 
you'll notice that it goes and we have quite a bigger field of view on this. So what we could do is we could just go and zoom in on it so we can go and start zooming in and you can see here as we increase this, we are closer and closer. So you want to find your medium here. You could even do an overlay. So you can see now it looks pretty good. We could do an overlay on top of this if you wanted to. Um, obviously just in between this, you would just need another lure block. Um, but yeah, this is a different way of doing it. You could possibly even get what? You could get another ring of cameras on the outside here. So we could in theory go and connect up a whole bunch more cameras. So we could go and connect them like this and this should actually fit on the screen seems that we're using the camera medium now so we got that many let's go and see what that's going to look like so yeah you can see that even that fits on the screen and you can zoom in ever so slightly so let's do 0 0.1 zoom in and look now how many how many screens you can actually fit on there i don't know if you would want it that small but uh yeah that's just a little bit of an example of how you can get so many lua screens into one by one block here it's really cool now of course there is the caveat where you have to have this somewhere in your creation now if your creation is a bigger one that's fine because you can obviously hide this wherever whether your creation is much smaller it's going to be a little more challenging to go and fit this many screens plus leave a gap in between plus have your camera so that's where the challenging part comes into it but i hope you have enjoyed this little tutorial it's pretty straightforward and pretty simple and i've seen a lot of obviously comments about this and also a lot of interest about this so i thought i'd go and show you guys in a tutorial but as always let me know your comments below what would you like to see in another tutorial coming up in the future but as always i hope you have enjoyed this video and found it entertaining and informative as always and we'll see you in the next one